Hey guys, this is Lobby Designs here, and um, I thought I'd bring you the uh, part two of, um, oh, well, the, the second part, whatever, uh, of the um, effectors in Cinema 4D. Now, I did say that I was going to do these in order, um, but I've decided against that because there's, uh, the first few are pretty like simple and stuff. So I'm just going to go through the ones that I think are nice and, um, and will kind of get you somewhere, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's, I guess that's my strategy from now on. I'm not going to do the same with the demons. I'm going to do that the same in order. Um, so yeah, so we'll, st today, um, no, oh God, I'm going to do the, uh, the, um, explosion. So, oh, just got mail. Anyway. Um, so I'll start by adding an object and I have the explosion effects, but I'll drag the explosion FX onto the cube. Now I'll just drag the cube, whoa, whoa, Jesus, I'll just change the, uh, the, it's like having this big, these are, these, these kind of, uh, line, those, those border things there, I don't really like them, they're a bit annoying. So I'll just center that and drag it up a bit. Now, basically what this does, it, um, it, it makes all of the, so if I turn the strength up, oh, sorry, the time, I, okay, okay, so that's why it's fallen. Awkward. Anyway, so you'll see here that basically it's just getting, um, like, like gravity on it, I guess, um, but you can do a lot cooler stuff with it. So I'll actually drag it up, and then I'll drag the, uh, the cube down. And you'll see what happens now. So with the cube, you want to put the segments, maybe 50, 50, actually, actually. Actually, no, 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 50 is good. Leave it on 50. So then in the explosion effects, the time is basically the strength, except that it's just where the uh, green bar is. So you can see this little dot here moving. So if I drag this out, bam. See that? That's, uh, that's, um, that's very nice, isn't it? Yeah, I, I think so too. Uh-huh, whatever. So, you'll see that all these little pieces come up. I might change this to 20. Then, if we put the time up, uh, it doesn't look so much like it's circles protruding. It more just looks like it's breaking up. But you can also change the effect's size. So, if you just drag that outwards, then it looks like the whole... Oops. Now, it'll look like the whole cube kind of... Um, explodes or, or whatever it just kind of gives it a more generic effect and you'll see that so it is having dynamics but you can see that it kind of looks like a um a transformers cube or something and it looks really um just looks really nice like uh well that, that's a weird way to put it um but it um just gives a nice kind of a uh, cyber tr all right, it looks a lot like Transformers. I, I guess that's the best way to put it. So you could probably do a lot of this. Uh, you could. This has a lot of potential. You could transform it into stuff. Um, there's a bunch of uh, yeah. So the gravity. If you change. Uh, okay. So just change that. Just have a look at uh, my screen. I'm, I'm not going to say because I really don't know what it does. But anyway, so you'll see here and then. There's more little cubes and, and stuff, um, and it looks really uh, yeah, futuristic, I guess, or, or something like that. And there's a bunch of different settings for this. Um, uh, oh, that looks that looks nice. Uh, but yet, no, um, I don't really know what many of them do. I've th that's I guess uh, that's the basics of it. Um, like what just shows you how to do it um but yeah so i mean i hope you guys enjoy that uh that was pretty quick and it was a uh, pretty i mean i guess it's pretty self-explanatory so all of these effect oh god I keep doing that all of these effectors um basically you just put it as a child um the mesh is it was a bit different same with the ffd um i'll do separate ones on them um, but basically everything is just a child, except for the camera as well, and the polygon reduction. Um, i trying to think of a few other ones. Um, yeah, so there's a few other ones, but it's pretty easy to use. You can just do it yourself. Um, if you're watching this video, it's probably just because you, uh, love my voice. Um, but, yeah, so, um, I guess that's the end. But also just remember to, uh, subscribe, favorite, like, um, watch my, uh, Demons videos, my, uh, 
my other videos and, and all that stuff. And um, mainly subscribe because I'm getting more views and subscribers. And um, and uh, I don't know, that doesn't really make sense. Unless some of you are watching it like two or three times or something. But just tell everyone um, about me, I guess. If I've helped you, please message me if you need any help because I will be happy just to make a video for you because you're so special. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm also still working on the real flow video. Oh, sorry, the render, whatever. So just, uh, I guess, stay tuned for that. That will be coming out soon. It's, it'll be a big disappointment for you because I keep deleting all this stuff because I'm just not happy with it. And, um, yeah, basically, alright, so I've just been rambling on a bit. Um, also, I just wanted to say that when you hold Alt or Option, wherever you click, so you can see that little, uh, that little gold cross here where my mouse is, if you select an object, that's kind of the pivot point. If I select over here, oh, no, that's not very good. But say I had a plane, and I selected over here, um, that's why sometimes you get those really weird turns. Uh, but, yeah. So, so I select here, that'll be the pivot point. But yeah, that, that's basically all. So, see you guys next time. Uh, do all that stuff to support me and, and whatnot. And uh, see you guys later. Enjoy. <laughs>